Let's begin. Yes. Yes. It's a train! So I took this old Super Nintendo game I had and I turned it into a solid state enclosure. I've seen people use old hard disks to do this, but not with a solid state drive. And I thought, I've got to do this. Here's some of the tools I use for this project. Links are down below. Banana is not required. One important thing is the blade I used to cut the cartridge. I used a metal blade and a low speed to avoid melting the plastic. All right, just grab that baby and throw it in the garbage. Let's do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Okay, I think that's all the parts. Wait a second, you need to remove that sticker. You gotta make a custom one for this bad boy. All right, hold on, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so check it out. I normally remove this with my hand and then finish up with this razor blade here. Scraper, deal. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, just be careful that you don't cut the plastic. You don't want any, oh, what the, did you see that? Look at that fresh, glossy surface right there. Okay, now you can put it back together since you've put your new sticker on the cartridge. Oh, didn't even see you there. So that is how you build an SNES hard drive. I hope you liked this video. If you wanna build your own, all of the parts are linked in the description below. So if you wanna see future videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you then. Thanks.